the Sunday night football game. Packers headed to San Francisco. The 49ers, a three and a half point favorite, total of 48 here. You know, I as bad as the Packers looked in week one, I wonder how much of that was the the moving the game to Jacksonville and and all of that combination of things. Jameis played out of his mind. Aaron Rodgers played as bad as we may have ever seen him play. Packers look pretty good on Monday night. Now, the 49ers have the rest advantage. I don't know that that necessarily matters here, especially with it being a Sunday night game. Man, I I think I'm going to take the Packers plus three and a half. I know that every time they've gone out to California lately, it feels like they have been blown out by like three touchdowns. But I, I think that they got something on track here, and I don't like the way the 49ers have looked as of late. You know, only scored 17 points in Philadelphia, gave up a bunch of points late to the Lions in, in week one. I I don't... The team is good. Like, we know they're good. They do have some injuries that, you know, are maybe kind of starting to pile up a little bit. There's there's more early in the season than you would like to see. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I thought this defense from San Francisco would be a little bit better, and, and they haven't been yet. So... So we'll see, but I'll, I'll take that three and a half. I like the hook there. Uh, give me give me the Packers to cover. Yeah, I'll go 49ers. I don't think this Packers team is very good. They were kind of in a dogfight with the Lions, who I know were not very good. And it's just one of those situations where if that game doesn't start raining and the Lions don't have two or three fumbles for missed snaps, not because somebody took the ball away from them, but because they missed exchanges or whatnot, this game isn't isn't close to what it looks like at all, and 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 so you know that's one of those things that happens sometimes, and, and that's fine. The Packers didn't have those problems, but the Packers didn't look great. All right, this defense isn't very good. The Packers didn't score a lot on them until they started getting the ball in really good field position. They weren't going on long drives. They were punting more than I thought they would, and offensively, uh, defensively, this Packers team couldn't stop them at all. When when it was a you know a pretty night. And, and the balls were dry, the Lions had no problems moving the football up and down the field on them all night long. And so I just assume that, that, that Kyle's going to have something for them. They're going to be ready, and they're, you know, they're going to move the football on the Packers. Yeah, the Packers' uh, defensive DVOA here, number 28 thus far. Now, a lot of that from week one, but, but like you said, the Lions did move the ball on them. So number twenty eight, they didn't start stopping the lines until until the game, the, it started raining, yeah. and and I just I think and then you see the lines just slipping the ball all over the place. I'm thinking, what the hell is going on in Detroit? But <laughs> neither here nor there, you know that at some point in time, I'm not giving the Packers credit for that. That makes sense. Makes sense. So I I will I will choose to believe that the Packers will will find a way to keep this you know close. Uh, I think they can cover three and a half. I like the hook. Typically, that comes back to bite me. But, uh, you know, these this is just pick them. This is what we do. I, I feel good about the pack. So, with that said, you're going to take the 49ers. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.